EVDF and welcome to the third video I'm uploading today and that will be my team for Pokemon Moon. Now, I know Pokemon Sun Moon have already come out but I'm doing a let's play on them which will probably be not very good quality, I'm sorry about that, I'll do the best quality I can uh, later on um, this year, I think. Next year, because it's the last day of the year. So, Happy New Year's Eve everybody, I'll say Happy New Year tomorrow because then it will actually be the New Year. So, I'm going to be you my team for Pokemon Moon which is what I'm doing the let's play of. This team will be completely different from my Pokemon Sun team, so, well, there's one similarity, of course, there must be. So, without further ado, let's get into it, because I've got a lot of videos uploading, you can already see on the side that I've already got two videos uploading. So, let's get into it. So, I have to use my starter, my sister, Litten Lover, of course, chose Litten, and my son, Let's Play, if you saw my last one, I just popped it out. So, there's only one other starter for me to Let's Play the game with, and that is the adorable Rowlet, turned into the annoying Darchix, and then the absolutely awesome Decidui. Now, I'm not going to read through Decidui's Pokedex thing, um, but I'll just give you a bit of why I like it. First of all, check out its design. Its design is awesome. I can easily tell why Decidui is the most popular starter. It's a arch owl, which is m one of my favourite names of it, that, well, and, okay, I'm completely breaking because it's so awesome. It's the Owl Quill Pokemon, so it doesn't really need a bow, obviously. I just really like its design, because it's a really cool concept. It's based off an old Hawaiian myth, I'm pretty sure. And what I like about it is it's not completely immortal. No, not immortal, that's not the right word. It's not completely, like, cool, like, it'll be stay cool in every situation. It's sort of relaxed, because it can become flustered in unexpected situations like a surprise attack. So I can picture Decidueye being a super cool member of the team just because Decidueye is an awesome Pokemon. Now for those of you who thought that I didn't like Decidueye, that is completely wrong. I love Decidueye and I usually choose a Grass type starter. It's just this time popular just beat it. Now the Grass type starter is usually the one that I choose and I'm really happy that Decidueye, because a lot of people insult the Grass types if you didn't know. But Decidueye finally bought them and figured out how awesome Gas types can be. So thank you Decidueye, you're awesome and I can't wait to use you in my sun version. So let's move back to the Pokemon. So, after playing through the game, I decided I'm going to use a Pokemon that I can get quite early on in the game. But of course, the next one I'm using on my team is a Rockruff. Rockruff is an awesome Pokemon for, from this, my channel mascot, may I have you know. And I love this tiny puppy. I already talked about it quite a lot in my Pokemon Sun thing. And it's my channel Pokemon Mascot. So I love this tiny puppy. I mean, look at his pictures though. Those, that picture though. And look at these pictures, it's so cute. I do like his midday form most. But I decided I'm going to keep it as a Rockruff because I love Rockruff. It does have some really good moves, like a good rock type moves, which will be useful in the future. So I'm not going to talk that much about Rockruff because I've already learned quite a lot about him by using him in my sun version. I now know where to find him so I don't go through all of Arcala Island looking for him and I find him quite early. I will try to keep spoilers for those of you who haven't played the game. So next up is, you guys will probably think that Decidueye and Rockruff both work quite well except against the Grass type trial. But, okay wait, no let's let me finish that. Next one is Wishy Washy. I love the concept of Wishy Washy. Seemingly weak Wishy Washy is called the Demon of Sea because it's terrifying school form. When Wishy Washy offends with even SOS signal, they are in this huge battle formation. This thing makes Gyarados flee from Wishy Washy. Flee. Gyarados is awesome. And you've seen me use it. It's a pretty awesome Pokemon in my uh, Pokemon. But no, not Pokemon. Why do I keep saying that? Project. Let's play. Wishy Washy makes this thing look like a wimp. I love Wishy Washy. Look at it. Look at it. It's got an awesome new ability, small five Pokemon. And what I love is like you can start at this really the weakest Pokemon of all time so far is Wishy Washy, like normal form. But then it turns into this one, which is the highest base stat total. Well, one of the highest base stat total, not, no, the highest base stat total non legendary Pokemon, I think, of all time. It might just be of um, Generation 7, but I'm pretty sure of all time because of how amazingly powerful it is. So I'm definitely using Wishy Washy's school form on my team. Next up is Male Salandit. Now you're probably asking, why don't I get a female Salandit? Because female Salandit evolves into Salazzle. 
Now the reason I'm doing that is so Warcraft, mostly because Warcraft won't be alone, but also because Solanda, I really like Solanda's ability, and I really don't like it when a Pokemon evolves and it seems to be one gender, like Salazzle. But Solanda can either kind of be both, so I'm going to look for a male Solanda. Also, it's a really cool Pokemon, even like this, and it'll be really useful against the next trial, like, it, can, it quad resists. The Gas Trial, which is the next one. I'm sorry if that was a spoiler for you, but seeing as that's quite early on in the game, and I'm only spoiling quite early on in the game, I myself haven't finished the game yet. I'm kind of stuck on one of the trials. So, Solanda is awesome. I absolutely adore this thing. It's got the corrosion ability, so I'm definitely going to be using this thing. It looks like a little tiny bandit of death and destruction. I also really like its shiny form. So I'm going to use Solanda in my Let's Play. So that's We've gone through four Pokemon, we've only got two left. So the next Pokemon I'm going to be using is Beware. Now, Beware is one of the coolest Sun and Moon Pokemon. Because there's five words that describe the thing. Teddy, Bear, uh, oh no. Fluffy, Teddy, Bear of Death. It is awesome. Like, it evolved. Look at it. Like, it looks so fluffy. But I just want to read this one. When Beware is acting in a friendly fashion, just swing time, you may never dare to approach it carelessly. It does not be a dangerous Pokemon, even within the Alola region. You may see warning signs posted near places it resides. When Beware goes fond of its training, it may show that feeling of fond and base. But the force of its hug is tremendous. Trainers must see its Pokemon handle strain their strength when showing affection. It's a massive cuddly teddy bear of death! That's all there is to describe Beware. It's awesome, and I absolutely love it, and its cry is absolutely adorable. Plus, Duffel is easily the cutest first stage Pokemon of a two evolutionary line ever. Apart from Mokov, actually. But we should do a cute off series. So the last Pokemon I'm using, you may notice I've gone through this series, this episode quite fast, because you'll see me getting to know these Pokemon when I actually do the Let's Play. The last Pokemon I'm using is Mudsdale. Now, I really like Mudsdale the first time I saw him. I thought he was an awesome Pokemon. Mudbay is also kind of cute. I like how this thing can... One kick in the car is a pile of scrap. And I love its stamina ability. I think that's one of the coolest abilities. I'm going to try to catch a Mudsdale with stamina. Because that's my favourite ability. Well, it's, it's, it's not my favourite, but it sounds really good. Because every time you take a hit, it just gets more powerful. Like, the hits will do less damage every time you take a hit. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh wait, what's that gonna have a new stamina ability? He's the only one to have it. First to go up when it's hit by an attack. So basically, if it's hit by five attacks, it's offensive. It's are smacked out. So this thing will be an absolute tank, especially because it can be found just before the water trial. It won't be that good then, but when it gets to the fire trial, it will shrek everything in its path. And I'm so excited to use Mudsdale in my let's play of Pokemon Sun version, a uh, Moon version. That's my team, Decidueye. Wishy Washy, Salandit, Rockcroft, Beware, and Mudsdale. There are so many other Pokemon I want to use. I wanted to use Formantis, all four Oricorios, the Vobix line, Morlo. There are so many Pokemon I want to use. So I, I'm not going to settle for just one Let's Play. I'm going to be playing this game with Nuzlocke. So when, hopefully in the future I'll be playing it with those. Because I love this game so, so much. It is addictingly fun. And there's so many Pokemon I want to use on my team. So guys, that'll be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. This is my last video in 2016. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. So hopefully this series will come after my book Bonds and Nuzlocke. Which will probably be about 5 episodes knowing me and Nuzlocke. So guys, thank you so much for watching this epi this video. And that's basically all I have for the my team. I made a playlist. Just Pokemon teams for different generations. Or I may not. So guys, that'll be it for my Pokemon Sun. No, why do I keep saying Sun? That'll be it for my Pokemon Moon Team Lunala. Remind me that it's Sun version. I'm not using Lunala on my team. I've decided I won't just because even though Lunala is awesome and I absolutely adore it. Uh, I'm not using it on my team because I use the Legendary and I think I'm going to use the Legendary. I don't know yet though. But anyway, back to this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was so much fun to make. I hope you all have a dog-tastic new year, and ODF, out.